Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to talk about the word of the week, probably the month, Superfish. You may have heard about it. Lenovo essentially pre-installed this on computers they sold from, I believe, September to December, so towards the end of 2014. However, it can show up in other computers. I can find uh, comments about it in our forums where people were looking for help to get this off back in... Last I know is 2011. So this is nothing new. Essentially, what Superfish does is it fools websites with their security certificates that you expect. Let's say your bank it expects a security certificate. It verifies it's who you say you are. This can actually override it and it can capture passwords, etc. So it can actually be a really bad thing. So Lenovo has come out with a Superfish removal tool, relatively easy to run as well as manual instructions. So if you grab the tool and you run it. It's just going to, it's, it's portable, meaning there's no install to this. You can simply analyze and remove. It'll want you to close all your browsers. Let me save this for a minute. And you go ahead and run it. It looks for all these <laughs> registry entries, applications, root certificate, files. Jeez. So the reason the tool is something I prefer is the manual instructions, which you can get to any time by clicking right here on the author link and this will bring you to the removal tools now you have to worry about do I have Windows 7 do I have Windows 8 do I have Mozilla Firefox Internet Explorer Google Chrome Opera Max sign because then you gotta remove the certificates it's quite a bit of work to do it this way uh, if you have to uninstall it I might consider uninstalling it with something like iobit uninstaller where it's gonna look for leftover files folders registry entries however you'd still have to come back down here and you'd have to look for any of the certificate problems because basically all these instructions tell you is to uninstall it which I wouldn't again do just with a Windows uninstaller and then you gotta come in here and search for the certificate and see if it's there so if you're worried about getting this it's a free tool it works very very well it gets the job done for you and I recommend it again if you do grab the tool for Major Geeks the links will be in the description below you can if you're not on our page anymore you can also click right here for the manual removal instructions which will load the exact same page for you should be pretty simple if you need any help pop into our forums we'll be glad to give you a hand and we thanks as always for supporting major geeks watching listening to the videos and we'll see you next time